You have to forgive the shaky camera work doing this by hand. We're out walking our new property lines for the new homestead we bought. Uh, homestead may be the wrong term. The house is pretty well set up already. We're not building that part. We got a pretty nice place already. But lots of property. You can see very wooded and out doing a little bit of trash pickup on it and right there where that bucket's at is old barbed wire that I don't have the stuff with me to pull up so I'm marking that to come back with the four wheeler but there are creek on our property here naturally flowing uh, flows all the time from what I've been told and we found a tie-in creek at the back of the property that's spring fed so we've got natural spring on the property just kind of go for a walk this morning. Me, you, and Valkyrie over there. What are you doing, big girl? Come on, off with him, Valkyrie. Let's go. What are you smelling? Come on. Off with him. There she is, good girl. Hey, come here. Two ways to put her Good girl. Come on, stay with me. Keep up. Let's see if we can find some more trash while we check out our property lines here. So our line runs down the center of this creek here. See it? So we're just kind of near the edge, walking it in a spot that's accessible to get through kind of look and see looks like there's some natural game trail through here a lot of dead standing trees see if we can knock that shit over <clears throat> there no widow makers around here to hurt people what we find out here you never know when you buy a place oh there's a tree with a natural hollow in it it's cool to have to use for something pine trees there some dead branches at the bottom probably some fat wood in that More creek over there. More woods over here. Keep walking. There's these new spiders out here. Can't remember what they're called, but they have a yellow web. And they build these huge webs through these trees out here. So you gotta Pay attention. Huh. It's like we found somebody's old hangout spot. There's some old chairs, kids hoe, and the old fire ring of stones here. Remnants of fence. A lot of stuff to clean up out here. Never had it before. This may not have been the best property steward, but look at that. Valkyrie, seat ya. Vada, good girl. Listen to that water run. Yeah. Pretty nice. Kind of big rope there too. We need to get out of here. A lot of clean up to do. But. And then the house is over that way. You probably can't see it through the trees. But it's alright. We'll do house stuff on it different video we definitely got us a lot of woodlands here now there's about 10 acres here 
Uh, roughly three of it is cleared already. The rest is in this sapling forest stage, you can see. So I'll have to come out here, do some tree surveys, see what species we've got, do some clearing, get some of these saplings out of here, clear some space. What do you see, big girl? Anything good? Well, oh, that's where a tree went down there in that mound. More back there. And if you keep going back that way, you eventually run into the feeder from the natural spring. We'll walk that another time. Another creek line to walk. But yeah, I'll take you up to the outbuilding that came with the property. Just a metal building, but it has its own nice driveway, concrete floors. You finish siding it in, put front and back on it, and turn it into a shop of some sort. It's already got 220 power on it and everything. So, without much work, have a nice place to put the tractor and do work on vehicles, run the air compressor, welder, torch, all that stuff. And as we get closer to the house, it starts to get a lot more pine in the mix. A lot more pine in the mix. You see like out there, you get more leafy, and in here, changes to almost all pine needles. Oh, there's another piece of trash up there we can go shove in the bucket, get off the property. Come on, Valkyrie, let's go get this trash. out here before. So left a lot of trash. Nothing in there. Good. Dog poop bag there. Alright, trash acquired. Find the best path through here. Watch out for the spiders. Do have some kudzu out here in a small patch here but it looks like we've got what's going to be our garden spot here it's already nice soft and here is what's going to be the shop and they left us a nice riding lawnmower with no deck no idea if it runs or not, but it's there. Turn it into some kind of piece of equipment, maybe. Find a deck for it to mow with, or just use it to throw little trailers around or something out here. Not sure how big this is. They used it to park their RV in. But we could step it off and get close. Have about a 36 inch step from my time in the military so one two three four five six seven so probably a 20 and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 30, so 20 by 50 maybe in that range, maybe 20 by 60, so a little narrow, but would work fine, could put a lift in here, 
definitely room for all the tools in here once I get it closed in. At some point that satellite out here or whatever. And it's hard to tell under all the leaves right now. But this is all white rock driveway. Good and stable. Just covered in leaves. It needs to be raked out. Got a lot of land work to do. Just haven't had time. We just closed on this place Wednesday. It's now Sunday. So I've had it in my possession a total of five days. And we've just been moving, moving, moving. Alright, so you follow that all the way down to the road out there. It's the road. There's a turnaround spot. We're going to take a small detour here. You can see the side of the house a little bit. But I'm actually over here to look at. It's for trash. If there's any trash around this chicken coop that it came with, a really nice coop and run for our chickens when we get started with those. Some automatic feeders. Automatic doors I gotta fix, that kind of stuff, but um, water jug in there, have to dig out later. Another bucket, another jug, see just trash all over the place. But back up so you can see it here. Oh more trash. Bucket right here. Chicken coop. So there's the coop side of it, and a tiny little run off of that, and then a great big run off the front of it. See, metal roofed, built pretty nice. Needs a little attention, but not anything horrible. Locking doors right here. See, they're sagging on me, but you can pick them up and put them up there, and then they'll lock top and bottom, keep the animals out. It's got an automatic door system in it, but it appears to be messed up and will have to be repaired or replaced at some point. Through door on the other side, nesting poles, brooding boxes, nice spot for chickens to let out into, and then walk-in size chicken run here we're gonna do this one-handed yes we can okay you actually fit in here we're doing clean out and stuff there's four automatic feeders hangers for water are up there metal roof woods in good shape we can use I have shit loads pine needles out here so we can use natural pine straw for them I guess so I'll have to look that up see if that's okay I've never done that before if not we get stuff for them but oh, cool. get all that out of the way of the door here close that hit the latch but it's chicken wired all the way around I have not taken a chance to inspect that yet, so let's take a look here. Don't see any damage to it over here. Don't see any damage to it on the back side. Let's go grab our trash. Oh, look, there's a windmill. I mean, it's not really a mill, it's just a standing fan thingy, but looks cool. And there's some electrical stuff out here I need to work on too. So, there's a pole with a light that doesn't work and it's full of water with a switch and a bug zapper. And then there's underground wire out here that runs to, oh, well, there's another light pole. And there's some electric cord that runs over there to the chicken coop here, plugs in right there. And we got these weird light stands that were on this path and I have no idea what turns these on and off. So, this, this is it. Hmm. Got us a lizard friend. Alright, dude. You gotta go. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't turn anything on or off. Alright, well that's not it.
so it doesn't work on that light is consuming electricity right now I need to figure out how to fix that oh, there's another light on the path another light there so at some point they spent some money to light this path from here through here over the little chicken area so and then you look out behind the house there's land back there that's been somewhat cleared and a little garden shed out there bee box and then we got the front yard which is that's the son's car there but big circle driveway here and I'm going down to the road over here though oh look it's hard to tell on video but so you can see that I'm going to step on it it's got some kind of golf course grass on this place it's super thick and lush never had anything like that before to figure out how to take care of it apparently it's got a built-in sprinkler system out here already and they had some planter system out here and the cut piece of wood just laying there I'll have to get rid of that a little planter that's overgrown and then they had this uh, some kind of electrified fence it's not on right now but they had a spot they're doing bees apparently there were bears out here we've been told so that's why everything is covered in electric fence for the bees but there's a nice electric fence area for the keeping of bees if we decide to get into that and then it runs all the way down there to the road nice big yard Big shop over there, which we'll talk about another time. But yeah, that's the uh, step one of the new property. And we run all the way over there to that tree line, up and back. And uh, if you see that tree line back there, past the house, we got another 100 yards or so back there on our property. And we got natural little stands of pine in the yard that look pretty and there's one here and then this is what we bought so there's the truck there's the shop behind that stand of trees but this is this is Bondegard. this is the homestead so hope you guys enjoy it and we'll talk more about it in the future